the moment I went up to that vision board and I had to take something off of my vision board because it had already manifested in my life, folks, <laughs> let me tell you, folks, it's so powerful. So you need a vision board. The second thing you need to do, you need to get up. And George and I have been talking about this offline. You need to get up every morning and you need to journal. Now, I am not an old school uh, paper and pen, paper and pencil kind of journal person. So that does not excite me at all. <laughs> OK, I'm a typer. Right. I, I like to uh, I fancy myself as being someone who can type. Oh, I say roughly around 60 to 70 words per minute with not that many errors. <laughs> um, but I was a typer. I am a typer, right? So here's, here's a pro tip for y'all, fans of Apple devices. The app is called Day One, D-A-Y-O-N-E. And it is a journaling app. And I use that journaling app myself. I've used it for a long time. I have it on my MacBook Pro, from which I'm talking to you right now. It syncs across my iPad Pro, syncs across my iPhone as well. So no matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm doing, day one app is on all of my devices or whatever device is on me at the time. Two really cool things about that app that I really like. If you would say, you know, Vernon, I'm not really experienced in journaling. I'm kind of new to this thing. Uh, what do I write about? Right. I just want to get into the practice of writing. One of the things that's neat about day one is it will give you a daily prompt. Like I had a daily prompt one time, what's your favorite music and what about that music moves you? That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. So if you're that kind of person where you've never written before, just use the prompt, the daily prompt that day one gives you. When I got past the daily prompt, I started getting into uh, some deeper things. I started journaling about things that were going on in my professional life, things that were going on in my personal life. This really became my online diary. But here's the other thing that I did, and I journal, and I do that every single day. The other thing that I do, and again, I'm not going to reveal all of them, uh, but I'm definitely going to drop some pro tips here. One of the other things that I do every single morning, folks, some of you may laugh, but I'm going to say to you this, it's been working over and over and over in my life. I have a list of affirmations and I read those affirmations aloud to myself every morning, every single morning. You may say, well, Vernon, what does that mean? I have an affirmation that says, I am a person that does da 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 And I specifically talk about whatever the action is, who the action benefits, and how it benefits that person. That's a specific thing. And I... That's just one affirmation, right? And I read that list of affirmations every single morning. Now, some of you that follow me deeply, you know that, that uh, on my IG profile and on my Twitter profile and on Clubhouse and some other spaces, I have the initials NLP, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. So I'm a certified Neuro Linguistic Programming coach. NLP is, is called shorthand, and that just kind of works on how we get the mind to process and work very efficiently. And one of the things that we talk a lot about in NLP is the power of you hearing yourself say something. Now, I know that's deep. I don't mean to get esoteric. I don't pretend to be this person that understands everything on this metaphysical deep level, right? But when you hear yourself, when your inner ear and your outer ear, when they come together and they hear you saying that about yourself, Something powerful works, folks. 